Yeah, welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. Our first conversation is about the World Tuberculosis Day. It was celebrated worldwide yesterday on the 24th of March as it's celebrated annually. And to discuss this, we've invited Chidi Ibiri Ajuru Bush, a nurse at the Mother and Child Hospital in Lagos. Good morning and thanks for joining us. All right, so we are going to be discussing about tuberculosis. Just, I don't have much time. To, okay, yes, I'm going apologies. To be giving you a brief um, introduction on what it's all about, um, some signs and symptoms you expect to see with someone who has tuberculosis and then um, preventive measures and um, all right. how it's being treated. Okay, so many, um, okay go ahead. Potentially serious. Okay, TB ordinary is a potentially serious infection that affects the lungs. And this bacteria that causes it can be spread through coughs, it can be spread through um, sneezes. But you find that, that most people who are um, infected with TB, some may show, show some signs, some may not show some signs. And that is why we classify TB as um, we have the latent phase and we also have the active phase. TB is caused by a bacteria called Mycobacterium tuberculosis is a type of bacteria and if not uh, properly treated can spread to other parts of your body like your brain and your spine so like i was saying tb is divided into two you have the latent phase and you have the active phase during the what happens during the latent phase is that someone with tb has the infection but he or she may not know because the body's immune system is Keeping right. the individual from showing any signs and symptoms, right, and at this um, point, it's not contagious. Chidi, Barry, hold on, hold on. So we don't get too technical. Let, let's just, you know, quickly speak about the um, ways that this, you know, a person can get infected with tuberculosis. Is it sexually transmitted? Is it through food? Is it through, you know, poor hygiene? What exactly, you know, is the most common way that people get infected with uh, tuberculosis? The most common way you can get infected with tuberculosis because you know when things anything that affects the lung is usually easily transmitted through coughs and sneezes. So with an infected person who is in an active phase, you can have an infected person who is in a latent phase, but that is not contagious at that point. It's only when the person is an, on an active phase, then you can easily contact it through cough and sneezes. That's the most common way. Okay, sorry, uh, Chidaberry, can I, can I clarify something? Uh, you mean that unlike coronavirus, um, whereby even if you're asymptomatic, you're not you know, showing any symptoms, you can still transmit coronavirus. But for tuberculosis, when it's in a, it's, when it's, when it's, it's in a latent stage, you cannot transmit it. It's not contagious at you that cannot. point. You cannot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay and, it's uh, only when it's in an active... Yeah. And you mentioned the lungs. What are the most common symptoms uh, for a person who might be... Uh, suffering from uh, tuberculosis inf infection. Okay, ordinary, there are many lung diseases that comes with cough, but with TB, you have a change of blood in the cough. That's, we call it um, blood in the sputum. So, and this cough usually lasts more than three weeks. Any cough that lasts more than three weeks, that's the first thing you should begin to um, point. That's one thing that comes in mind, maybe, maybe tuberculosis. Another thing is the chills and um, sweat, night sweats to be particular, night sweats, not just any type of sweat, night sweats, which will now be accompanied by weight loss, fever, loss of appetite. So these are the most common signs and symptoms that the individual can show. Okay, it, it says... No, you can't just... But you can only confirm when these um, signs and symptoms are there, you can now confirm using maybe um, x-rays. Okay, it, it also so says that, and it's one of the things that I also found out, you know, that um, uh, more than 4,000 people die daily from uh, tuberculosis. Nigeria also has, you know, pretty scary uh, statistics with regards to TB. Uh, we're 14 uh, most burdened countries with uh, tuberculosis around the world. Um, or seventh, I believe. So, so let's talk about you know dealing with it here. Um, you know, is it is it something that can be easily uh, treated or easily managed? Is it a uh, is it a disease also that you know can be treated and goes away 
Does it have a vaccine? What, what's the hope for a person who might be, you know, uh, who might yeah. be suffering from tuberculosis? Yes, we have um, um vaccine. You know, when newborns are, when we deliver a child, there's, there are vaccines we do give immediately after birth. We have the HBV vaccine, that one for hepatitis. And then we have BCG, which is basically for um, TB. But you know, irrespective of receiving a vaccine, irrespective of receiving a vaccine, that does not mean you cannot contact the disease. You can receive a vaccine and still contact the disease, but it depends on how your immune system handles it. TB okay. is treated, but if noticed on time, and mostly in cases where they are not treated, is in immunocompromised patients, patients that are that have other underlying diseases, mainly HIV patients, people with se some sexually transmitted diseases, because their systems have been compromised. So they are the ones that you can only manage. They cannot co be completely treated. You okay. can only manage it to a certain level that this person can still live a normal life and remain and still be healthy. All right, Chideberry. So, so in, apart in, from the vaccine, how else can we, uh, you know, prevent tuberculosis? Okay, the easiest way we can prevent um, tuberculosis on our own is, you know, there are safety measures. There are something we call um, um, blood-borne um, infection transmission. So there are guidelines on how to prevent um, things like TB. Like, if you're around someone that has TB, of course you have to use a mask. And even if, or when the person is coughing, the person has to be a certain meter away from you. Or try to cough using a, a tissue or a handkerchief, not just coughing into the air. Because you're coughing into the air, someone might be sitting beside you and you just drop it off on the person. And if the person's system is not so strong or healthy enough, the person can begin to show some signs and symptoms. And eating... And, um, people who are in a latent pain still have to take their medication at all times so that it does not become active and contagious. All right. And then when you know one has TB, you limit your contact with other people. You cover your mouth when laughing, cover your mouth when coughing, cover your mouth when sneezing. If possible, the person should wear a surgical mask just like we are doing now in, in, uh, during this period of corona. All right. Um, is, and um... then, oh, I'm sorry about that. To, they are common and spending a lot of time in crowded places, over crowded places. Okay. Avoid um, uh, also, just to quickly ask, because we're about to wrap this up, um, is treatment for tuberculosis expensive? Um, and of course, how do people here in Nigeria uh, cope with it? Is it something, is uh, treatment easily accessible? Can it be, got, be um, you know, gotten in any uh, primary health care center? How expensive is, is it to manage a, a patient with tuberculosis? Yes, it's quite easy to manage someone with tuberculosis. It's not like the drugs are um, far away from us. Even in the primary health care center, we have um, um, a center for disease control in almost every primary health care center and tertiary institution. So at that place, there's always medications available and they have a TB unit. Even in our communities, I've done a community posting and there was a TB center there. These drugs are common. Because we, are, we use it to treat people who have you no know, compromised disease like HIV. So basically, the drugs they are being given is almost the same thing used for the uh, in treating TB. And then you have the antibacterial, which uh, antibiotics that we use for treating bacterial infection. So treating um, TB is actually common, and the drugs are readily available and accessible. I can't start listing the names because um, they may not really know the drugs, but these drugs are readily accessible and can be easily gotten anywhere, right. anytime. All right. Um. Chideberry uh, Ajarubo, nurse at a mother and child care hospital. We thank you for your time, enlightening us on World Tuberculosis Day, you know, telling us to, uh, you know, get the, the, the vaccination against it and prevent this, uh, you know, by using a mask. If you know, uh, if, if you have to be TB, use a mask so you don't infect people, avoid crowded places, cough into a cloth. So we appreciate this and for letting us know that, you know, uh, care for tuberculosis or treatment is actually affordable and accessible in Nigeria. So thanks again and have a great day at work. All right, you too.
Do have a lovely day. Right. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, that was a quick lesson on tuberculosis. Yes. Um, you know, just to quickly um, uh, let everyone know it is treatable. Mm -hmm. It's not a death sentence and you can, you know, get a, a treatment at a primary health care centers around where you live. It's World yes. Tuberculosis Day. And once again, the clock is ticking. That's the theme for this year's uh, World TB Day. Um, we're going to be back after this short break. Yes, before that, I'm going to encourage you if you haven't been vaccinated against tuberculosis, you should. I, I have a shot, so I took a shot many years ago, so you should to keep yourself and others around you safe. We've got a break here and we'll be right back.